Hi people, today we're reading more of The Munchies Takeover, a comic by Magma Man, an artist you should definitely support on Patreon. I think this comic needs no introduction, its title is self-explanatory, The Munchies have indeed taken over and there's, there's not even, there's, there's, it's, it's not like can, can she escape them, it's, it's far too late. The munchies are in control, and you know whatever happens, they they'll they'll make whatever they want to happen happen. There's no turning back now. It is far out of Scarlet's control. <laughs> Scarlet and Mandy changed into more comfy pajamas while waiting on the food to arrive. Once it did, she began her feasting. Her incredible hunger was blinding her to the fact she, 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 that she was attempting to gain weight on purpose, or she might have had second thoughts. Another slice? It's only a second pizza. Lord, what is wrong with me? Why can't I stop shoving food into my face? Come on, eat it all. Eat yourself into a big round bowl. Can can you just feed it to me? I, I'm too full to move. Never mind the cheeseburgers she already scarfed. Mandy help, helped her keeping her constantly eating, barely giving her time to breathe. For her part, Scarlet didn't want her to stop. She was well past full at this point, but after all the time spent with the munchies, her stomach didn't have a true limit! Open up, hun. You're on pizza number four. More, more. You can do it. Let her feed you. That's the spirit. Mmm. More. Please. Uh, uh. Oh my god. You finished all the pizza and the chicken. This tummy is insatiable. So tired. She's about to hit the 300 pounds mark! There's no turning back now. Finally, she was full to the point of bursting. Her eating binge was over and she was beginning to come down from her high. She was so terrified she was drifting away fast. Finally, full scar. That was impressive. Yeah, so tired. Sleep. Or, why don't you go ahead and sleep and I'll fix your shirt. We'll get you weighed in the morning. The next morning, true to her word, Mandy woke Scarlet up from her food coma to get her on the scale. Food coma? She was just sleeping, man! <laughs> Let's get you off the couch and get you changed so you can get up on that scale. Ha! <sighs> Oof! We're still doing that silly thing. I don't think we need... Whoa, jeez. Big girl is heavy. <laughs> hey! 302 pounds. Oh my god, you did it, girl. You even overshot your goal by two pounds. You did it, you crazy son of a dog. You did it. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Scarlet, you're truly a complete fat bottom pig now. Beth thought you were huge before. I don't know what's wrong with me, Mandy. It's like I hear voices in my head telling me to keep shoving food into my mouth. She's finally <laughs> opening up about it. Is it too late? Is, is Mandy so. going to listen to her? She's just going to be like, Oh, those voices of know what they're talking about. Well, whatever it is, you're really good at it. Breakfast? Yeah, I could eat. Mandy is 100% a friggin'. This, she's not, she's not got far from a normal interest in, in, in this. Maybe she's knows, maybe she created the munchies. <laughs> this has been a theory for a long, for, you know, this has been the theory I've oh, talked about before. Mandy is, is Mandy and the munchies in cahoots? Like, I think so. I hope that Mandy will gain some pounds too. Will she still watch her weight while being focused on Scarlet's gain? <laughs> Probably not. Later, after a large breakfast, Scarlet decided to bring something up that had been weighing on her mind for weeks. Mandy, I don't know what to do. Uh, what do you mean? What are you thinking about? Well, my savings are drying up way faster than I thought, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford this place much longer. I've been looking for jobs I can work from home with, and I can't find... Before she could finish, Mandy blurted out, Come work for me. Uh, what? Wedding catering? I don't know anything about weddings or catering. Bah, you don't need to know anything about catering. I have the perfect role for you. I need an assistant anyway. I recently expanded. That is true. You have been expanding <laughs> recently, Mandy. Oh, you mean your your business. Right. Sorry, sorry. Really? Yes. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I've moved the business to my new house. 
So it would be perfect. Heck yeah, what is this golden, golden thing she's wearing? Wow. Wait, no, why is Matt, why is their clothes so shiny in this page? They're just like liquid, liquid gold and silver. Poor. <laughs> Here you go. Oof, thanks. I don't know, you live all the way on the other side of the city. That would be a long drive every day. Move in with me. The new place has three bedrooms. You could totally take one. Hope you get out of this tiny bottom apartment. Wait, really? Um, I mean, that would be nice, actually. I really hate this place and it sucks being so far away. I guess I could come check it out. Oh, heck yeah, they're gonna be roommates! This is epic. She can make breakfast for her every day! How beautiful it is to hear Mandy say that she recently expanded. Also, you could totally could take... You totally could take... Fill up one bedroom. After showing off the house, Mandy took Scarlett to a new kitchen. Of course, the new kitchen, <laughs> where she would be doing all her catering. Scarlett loved everything about the place, but was still a bit confused. This is great, Mandy. Your place is awesome, but I'm still confused how I could possibly help you in your business. Ah oh, yes, I have just the thing. Don't tell me she's gonna say you could be the food taste tester. <laughs> Quality control and innovation. Oh my god, she is! I knew it! <laughs> Oof! <sighs> These stores are tiny, and wow, that cake looks stellar. Thanks. So I take special cake orders. Usually pretty inventive and new flavor combos. People seek me out specifically for my cakes more than anything. Okay. I make a prototype cake, like this one right here for the Anderson wedding. Sort of like a test before making the real one. They are going to love it! Hopefully. That's the problem. I've been burned in the past been getting a bit too creative and realized too late that my flavors don't work together. I need you to taste them, critique them, call me out on my decorations, everything. Quality control, girl. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> Scarlet, uh... I mean, at this point, Mandy is just... Mandy really is like... There's no real difference between Mandy or the Munchies. It's like the Munchies are like, Scarlet, you need to eat lots of food. Now Mandy is here saying, Scarlet, I'll pay you to eat lots of food. I'll let you live on my house if you eat lots of food. I'll be your best friend if you eat lots of food. She's now professionally eating lots of food. Scarlet was... Scarlet was... Game was rigged from the start, kid. First, Scarlet looks great in that dress of hers. Second, she got a great job now, tasting Mandy's cakes. It finally does look like Scarlet's life is... Look, she's not getting any thinner, but her life's looking up, you know? Yeah. She's got a sweet new place to live. She's she's living with her roomie, her bestie, his roommates. And she's got a new job. Like, her life's looking up. All it took was months of eating a lot of food you know sometimes <laughs> that's all the pages you have for today but um yeah definitely check more of magma man's work out if you there's also the uh, other ongoing comic you made her so fat we'll we'll probably be back with another part video on that soon but definitely check it out over on magma man's demon art and patreon have a good one everyone we'll be back tomorrow oh!